Hey, what's your guys? This is Ward Wildfire. Can I talk all things hockey? It's been three weeks of the NHL season, and I'm going to be talking about the biggest topics so far of the NHL season. Obviously, there's a lot of topics. Uh, I took the few that I thought were the biggest. Um, obviously, you can leave comments down below about the other big topics I did not go over, and I can discuss them through a comments or I can make another video. Just make sure to comment down below. Also, leave a like, subscribe while you're there. So, guys, let's get straight into this video. All right, so we're going to talk about a couple teams here that have been doing really good or really, really bad. So Boston Bruins, best team in the NHL right now, eight and one. They're playing Pittsburgh tonight. They're currently losing. So the game's not over. So I don't know if they're going to use, lose yet, but eight and one, super, super hot start. Um, they've been very, very good. They played the first couple games without Marsha either, and they still are doing very good. New coach. Uh, everyone thought since the old coach left and joined the Knights, they thought Bruins, they're going to be in a rebuild. Bergeron, he just resigned. Basically, Krejci just resigned. Char is gone. He retired. Everything like that. This team's gonna go to full rebuild. It's gonna go, gonna go to trash. It's not what happened. Bruins have been very, very good. Very surprising. Pops has been popping off, and I'm not gonna talk about this guy, this guy yet, because it's in a future topic. But Bruins have been very, very solid, and a lot of people were saying I was one of them that they weren't even gonna make playoffs this year, and that's probably changed. That's probably changed. It's super hard. So obviously things could change, but as of now. The probably top three in the Atlantic. Like I think that's a lock. I think that's a lock for sure. And that's a, that's very scary because Bruins, when they're in the playoffs, they can win some series. You know what I mean? They can win some series. And as of now, they're definitely the best team in the NHL. But can they stay? Who knows? The other team I'm gonna go over is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Not a good start at all. And yes, this happens a lot, but it's still not great. Goaltending for the Leafs are not there. Murray got hurt in the first game, basically. And he wasn't great at all. He didn't look good at all. And Samsonov, he's been okay at times. And he's he hasn't been super, super good. And what a Calgary, he shouldn't even be in the NHL, in my opinion. And he's been playing a couple of these games. So it's not good. They've had a really, really rough stretch recently, losing to some bad, bad teams. And obviously, Maple Leaf fans are crazy. But I mean, how can't you be? How can't you be? Your team is so talented, but you're losing to these bad, bad teams. And is there is there a sign that it's going to go up like you have a bad goalie like it's hard to win games it's hard to win playoff series with a bad goalie and i think it's the same it's the same story for the maple leafs this year up next is the vegas golden knights this team is not good oh last year wasn't just injuries they're just not a good team they have no goaltender vegas has been proving us wrong and their <laughs> their team has been so good stone's been solid Eichel has been putting the puck in at all cylinders. I'm recording today on the 1st of November, and they just won again. They just beat the Capitals in overtime. So that's, what, five games in a row? I think they have up to 9-2 and two or something like that. Vegas has been super, super solid, and I will talk about the goaltender later, but Vegas has been super, super good, and I think we owe them an apology, even though everyone hates the Golden Knights. Um, but hey, they've been very good. Can they keep it up? Who knows? And hey, they're putting the puck in the net. Their, their top six guys are scoring a lot and that's that didn't happen last year didn't happen last year and it's happening now and as we can see the Knights are winning up next is the Anaheim Ducks I know a lot of people don't have a lot of expectations for them but I did I thought this team was good on paper this team is very very good you add Klingberg in the offseason which no one really expected hey Ducks are horrible win the first game you were losing to the Kraken end up winning in overtime right we're like cool Ducks are here to play lost like six straight like badly like, it, it, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening with the Ducks, but um, they need to turn it around. Zegers is a good thing. Zegers and Troy Terry are scoring. So it is a positive that you two centerpiece pieces in your in your organization are scoring. That's good. So as long as you can somehow build around that. But Gibson's been absolutely horrible for the Ducks. And I thought he was actually going to be pretty good. And that was not the case at all. So I was completely wrong about that. But hey, Ducks. It's another it's another it's another year it is another year and hopefully you can get a high draft pick and maybe get bedard that'd be sick to pair him up with zegris and troy terry but obviously i don't think you're gonna be that bad so yeah who knows you're just gonna be a complete middleman now we talk about the goaltenders jake ollinger we all knew he was very good off of last year's playoffs but i don't know he was this good he is very very he's very good as you can see He's been leading the Dallas Stars to some victories. I know he just get hurt. He did just get hurt recently. I don't know how big of extent that injury is, but as he showed when he was healthy, that he is a top three goal in the NHL, maybe even top one. I think if he played every single game like he has been and didn't get hurt, Vesna might have been calling his name. You know what I mean? The same with these other goalies. Skinner on the Oilers. Campbell was like, everyone was like hyping up Campbell. Campbell's our guy. Campbell's going to bring us some playoff series. And he's been horrible. And Skinner 
is lighting it up right now saving everything being a brick wall for the oilers and oilers just like pushing 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 campbell aside like okay we don't need you we got skinner and hey he's he's proven you right but can he do it for a long time we don't know it's a short period so maybe it's just luck i'm not saying it's luck i'm saying like what if what if it just dies down then campbell's doesn't come back up you know what i mean the oil is just gonna fall down you know what i mean who knows we don't know what kind of goalie he really is we haven't really seen him that much so there's that but then olmark for the bruins he's 100 percent won the goalie battle between him and swayman olmark has been unreal has not lost a game yet i mean technically if they lose to pittsburgh i think it is a loss because he did get pulled but that was his first bad game is against pittsburgh and penguins tend to do that on home ice they score a lot of goals on home ice so like it's it's whatever you know what i mean but Olmark has been solid best i don't know if it's the best save percentage uh save percentage average and goals against average but six and no in the start of the season is unreal very good and he's been this is he's the reason why the bruins are eight and one or eight and two whatever their their uh final record is at the end of this video but He's been solid he's been very good and he's been he's the reason the bruins are doing so good then the guy i've been i was hating on the most during the offseason and it is i was completely wrong i'll own up to it i was completely wrong about logan thompson on the knights i thought the knights gonna be horrible because of goaltending and I, you couldn't blame me in my opinion you can't blame me on that i mean i'm thinking that he didn't show anything last year that was like oh he can he can win them some games but he has he's definitely helped this nice team be nine and two right now he's been getting shutouts i think it's two or three shutouts already he's been he's been solid man he's been very very good very surprising and i i would not be surprised if leonard does not get his net back after next season because leonard's absolutely dog water so that is that thompson has been very very good and all four of these goalies have been really good and obviously there's not there's obviously other goalies who've been good just short has been solid and stuff like that but these four stood out for me for sure and the last thing i want to talk about is this young guy who had a ceiling of Connor McDavid on the back end, Campbell Carr esque, and who was not doing good. He wasn't. He's not on a very good team, and he was not doing good to what we expected. And now he showed himself this year. Rasmus Dahlin. I said it in my offseason video. As I said, Sabers need Dahlin to show that he can play like his ceiling self, like we all thought he, like he would in his draft year. We all thought he was going to be the Campbell Carr of kill my car you know what I mean we thought he would be the kill my car now and he's showing that this year he scored what first six games in a row he scored and he's been he's up to like 15 points already he's, he's so good right now and this is he's helping the ducks he's helping the sabers win games right now obviously sabers do uh, they do struggle mid-season and end season and they always start hot so maybe him playing well right now could help this team have this this win streak longer you know what I mean he can have this winning mindset in the Sabres organization longer because he's been doing so good he could be a leader because he's getting a little bit older now he's not a rookie anymore so he could be a leader on this team and maybe push the Sabres a little farther because he's been very very solid right now and Tate Thompson's been popping off and the whole Ducks the whole Sabres have been very very good recently but we'll see if they can extend it a little longer and not fall off completely mid-season you know what I mean and just shoot all the way down the standings maybe Darlene could help that out for sure all right, guys, those are my topics. Make sure to comment down below other topics for me to do in the future. Uh, thank you for being here. Much love. Comment down below your opinions on these as well. And yeah, thank you for being here. Much love. Subscribe and like the video. And subscribe, motherfuckers.